best Netflix movies to watch now. All the movies are personal favorites and highly entertaining. With all that out of the way, let's get straight into it. At number 10 is, Where the Crawdads Sing. From the best-selling novel comes a captivating mystery, it tells the story of Kia, an abandoned girl who raised herself to adulthood in the dangerous marshlands of North Carolina. Four years rumors of the marsh girl haunted Barkley Cove, isolating the sharp and resilient Kia from her community. Drawn to two young men from town, Kia opens herself to a new and startling world, but when one of them is found dead, she is immediately cast by the community as the main suspect. As the case unfolds, the verdict as to what actually happened becomes increasingly unclear. Every creature does what it must to survive. At number 9 is, Yonda. From the director who brought us the smash hits train to Busan and Hellbound comes the upcoming action-adventure film. It is a 2023 film which premiered on January 20th. In the movie, Earth has been devastated by drastic climate change, and humankind migrates to new shelters in outer space. The civil war that occurs there continues for decades, and Youngi becomes a legendary mercenary and military strategist with countless victories to her name. Chronoid, a military AI development company, attempts to create the ultimate combat warrior by cloning her brain. The Good Nurse is a 2022 American drama film, starring Jessica Chastain and Eddie Redmayne. The movie tells the true story of Charlie Cullen, a serial killer who confessed to killing at least 40 patients during his 16-year-long career as a nurse. The plot revolves around Amy. In addition to being a single mother and having a fatal heart ailment, her night hours at the hospital push her to the brink on both an emotional and physical level. Although we are aware that the movie is based on a serial killer, after watching the trailer, one can't help but think that they reveal far too much in it. Despite that, The Good Nurse is a solid movie and certainly worth a watch. Hey! <laughs> Moving on, at number 7 is, Bullet Train. It had an incredibly successful early run at the box office, which is likely attributed largely to the impressive list of A-list actors that filled out the cast. The film stars Brad Pitt as a bumbling American mercenary with the codename Ladybug. With this many assassins present on a single speeding train, it's no wonder that the plot of Bullet Train was, at times, difficult to parse. The film is rife with unexpected twists and surprises as each killer attempts to gain the upper hand in the murderous game of chess unfolding on the road from Tokyo to Kyoto. Fate. That's a shit deal. The Pale Blue Eye is a mystery thriller film starring Christian Bale, written and directed by Scott Cooper and adapted from the 2003 novel of the same name. It was released in select cinemas on December 23, 2022, before its streaming release on January 6, 2023, by Netflix. The film received mixed reviews, its plot follows veteran detective Augustus Landor in 1830 West Point, New York as he investigates a series of murders at the United States Military Academy with the aid of Edgar Allan Poe, a young military cadet. But there's still a final twist to come. It's only a matter of time. Number 5, The Wonder. Set in the Irish Midlands in 1862, the story follows a young girl who stops eating but remains miraculously alive and well. English nurse Libright is brought to a tiny village to observe 11-year-old Anna O'Donnell. Tourists and pilgrims mass to witness the girl who is said to have survived without food for months. This premise carries the film in the beginning as it gets the audience interested to know the answer to this mystery. Our main character Lib also acted like a detective on a case rather than a nurse to keep the mystery fresh in the first half of the film. Anyone can be chosen. Coming in at number 4 is, Operation Mincemeat. It is a 2021 British war drama film directed by John Madden, which was released on Netflix on May 2022. Based on real events, Operation Mincemeat was a successful operation conducted by the British during the Second World War to disguise the 1943 Allied invasion of Sicily. 
The film focuses on the efforts of the British officers Ewan Montague and Charles Colmondeley who carry out an elaborate mission, based on deception, to throw off Hitler's forces from Sicily so that an Allied invasion of the Italian island will be met with minimum resistance. This is our war. Number 3, Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery. It is a mystery film and sequel to the 2019 Knives Out. Glass Onion focuses on billionaire Miles Braun, who invites a circle of close friends who go by the handle The Disruptors to his private compound in Greece for a solve the murder party. That includes someone who appears to be Andy, aloof and distant after Miles ousted her from their shared company. She soon disrupts the proceedings by speaking harsh truths. Everyone present owes Miles for their success and positions in life, and all of them lied on his behalf as he stole the company out from under Andy's nose. You must be really great at Clue, huh? I'm very bad at dumb things. Ticking boxes, running around, searching all the rooms. It's just a terrible, terrible game. Number 2, Roma. The film premiered at the 75th Venice International Film Festival on August 30, 2018, where it won the Golden Lion. Roma follows the life of a live-in Mexico housekeeper of an upper-middle-class family. It's still an emotional journey though, not least because of what makes its characters deal with upset and tragedy in the way that they do. Shot in black and white, every scene has a clarity and a freshness that never looks moody or broody, and despite its 1970s styling also doesn't look dated. The film is considered to be one of the best films of 2018 and has been widely regarded by critics as one of the best films of the 2010s. Number 1, The Trial of the Chicago 7 is a powerful historical drama written and directed by Aaron Sorkin who has a special gift for writing about trials. Based on a true incident, the film is based on the infamous 1969 trial of seven defendants charged by the federal government with conspiracy and more, arising from the counter-cultural protests in Chicago at the 1968 Democratic National Convention. The trial transfixed the nation and sparked a conversation about mayhem intended to undermine the U.S. government. At the trial 12 months later, the eight defendants remained united in their opposition to the war in Vietnam. My life. Open your eyes. Thanks for watching, that's all for the video. Do make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more top 10 videos.